Welcome back to the channel. Um, back on a wheel horse today. Normally this time of year is when uh, most people yank their snow plows off and put their mower decks on. It's April 2nd here, so it's a nice beautiful day here in Indiana. I uh, just got back from vacation, but this is my plow tractor every year. It's my 520. I repainted the sheet metal on it and put the plow on it every year. Unfortunately this year, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, I only got to use it maybe, or I only got to use it one time. And that one time was more pushing slush than it was actually pushing snow. And the only reason why I did that was so it didn't freeze the next day and then have big ruts in our driveway. So I'm going to take the plow off this tractor. Um, I normally take the blade off as well. Uh, I pull the pins here. Um, for the spring and for the bottom where it swivels and that way it's easier to store it because uh, I stand it up over here on the other side of the big tractor um, Behind that hood over there. So I'm probably gonna have to take the big tractor out and So I can well, so I don't scratch it number one But so I can get it back over there and get it out of the way because this tractor takes the 520 takes up a lot more space when the plow is on it so I uh, also want to um, Every year I've been using these screws instead of, or nuts and bolts instead of using a pin or a, a key to put in there. So I'm gonna change that out this year and um, so it's easier. I always get, I've, I've had these come off before and it, it makes a mess when they pull off and the plow drops down and all kinds of badness happens. But, so I always double nut a little, uh, bolt to stick through there and, and keep them on there, but I think I'm gonna try uh, next year I'm gonna try the a Carter key or uh, I can't remember what they're called, but a little pin to stick through there But I'm gonna take you through that taking the plow off. It's usually there's usually there's lots of YouTube videos on that but and then also I got my 314 out um, This is my mower mowing machine every year. It's got a perfect deck on it. I'm gonna grease the three spindles and on the deck and then also the front uh, steer spindles. And while I'm greasing those, I need to grease my trailer. It's sitting out there. I need to grease the wheels on it as well. So anyway, I'll pick you back up here in a few minutes when I get the 520 ready to pull out and uh, take the snow plow off and we'll move the 314 outside and um, make room so I can get the tractor over here to take the plow off. I'll pick you back up here in a minute. I'll try to start the 520. It hasn't been started in a couple weeks. I uh, normally try to start it a couple times a month to keep the gas flowing through it and everything like that. It may be kind of hard to start, so we'll try it here real quick. <laughs> good I'm not sure how many hours is actually on it because the uh, hour meter is, is broken but uh, so I'll pull her out here and switch her on the other side and see if we can get her get the plow on As you can tell, she runs pretty good. So normally on these, 
one of the first things I do is take these on the 400, 300, 400, 500 series, take these, at least take this plate off here so you can access the lift, top of the lift. Normally I leave the lift bar on, um, but this year I'm gonna take it off because it just hangs down and gets in the way when I take this tractor. I do take this tractor to shows. So I'm gonna take that off. And then like I said, I'll take those pins out and uh, I drop that to plow off so it's easier to store the tractor. And uh, and also, like I said, I take it to show. So I'll pick you back up here shortly. All right, so I did a little prep work. I removed the little screws and nuts and washers and lock washers. And those are just little 5 16 nuts on the end that are double nutted so they wouldn't come off. A lot of people use these, um, but they're just, my heart, my old hands are getting weak so they're harder for me to get get through these holes um and uh try to pull them out and get them on there and i just i just don't have the strength so next year i think i'm going to use these um what i call a carter key just put it in there and, and flip it over i think it'll hold it in there pretty good so but but that's what we'll do i got plenty of those and then i'll just have these in the been for next year or for something else but anyway another little tip is when you remove this panel here to get your to get to the top of your um, linkage right here you may notice that this is going sideways and I and the reason why I, I remember now why I didn't take that off last year is I've got this lift arm on backwards I'm pretty sure. Um, so if you'll notice on the other side, this one goes up and down. So if I had them flip flopped, the one that's on top would go sideways. And then this one would be on top. I could just pull it up instead of trying to push it in from the side. So yeah, that's why I haven't been removing that. So this year I'm gonna take that out, remove it. And uh, that way next year will be easier to install when I put the uh, put the plow back on. I went ahead and took the rotating bar off so when the plow slides out, the handle will drop down and uh, uh, I can pull it straight out or back back out over it. So, uh, but anyway, I'll pick you back up here in a few minutes when I'm ready to take it out. All right, I'm back. I got the plow off, got the blade off. Um, Forgot about these grease zerts here. I got I grew, went ahead and greased those on each side and then underneath. And I greased the 314 more deck and front spindles. And I also did the trailer. Let's see if this thing fires up real quick. I, oh, <laughs> That one fired up. That's my mower. Good little tractor. Now this thing um, probably could move stuff around behind it to get that tractor is actually on dollies um, working on it. But I want to put the snow plow over there behind that hood. And normally probably could just move that out of the way, but I haven't started this one in a while either, so might as well give it a try and pull it out. Let's see what we got. up in a minute well we got them all back in um, got the push mower fired up it's going for the 
for the year. Um, got the 314 up front now so it can do all the lawn mowing. Got the 520 back here so it can be just enjoying life, basically. I gotta get the few pieces of steel to fix, finish this and get it painted. But other than that, the Raider 8, I'm gonna try to put pinstripes down the hood like some of them do. May take it to a few shows this year. Uh, that's a pretty good little running tractor, so. But anyway, that about does it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll try to do more. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit that thumbs up button. I uh, appreciate it. Have a good day.